Me, a boomer. Ha, 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 ha. I'm timeless baby. Jaron will always be in style, like wallet chains and Jinko pants. Matthew McConaughey, an adult girl, are here once again for part three of the Jaron Comedy Westmost chat log. And if you thought I couldn't get any worse, ha 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 ha. Guess again. A quick note before we start the show. The alpha male Derek Research Department recorded a large portion of this reading in advance. We later went back and removed personal details which could too easily describe a member of the community. However, in the process of doing so, we now sound incredibly racist. I want to make it perfectly clear, while this grand form which stands before you was indeed created using decades old Nazi alien hybrid technology, we do not support or condone racism of any sort. Granted, adult girl has made statements in the past which raised legitimate concerns, though I feel she simply doesn't understand how hurtful and xenophobic some of her comments may seem. Ha 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 ha. You know what they say about the road to hell. It's paved with the best of intentions. Ha 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 ha. Okay, enough of that. Let's see what these two assholes are up to. Damn, well, I'm not too shabby myself, so we'll have to see. What's your go-to move? What is your go-to move, Jorn? <laughs> what, what's Jor Jorn's modus operandi? Usually the humor gets them, if not the singing does. And we will now discuss on how similar this is to Lauren. <laughs> yeah, that is, that's something that Lauren would say. That, that's something that would come out of Lauren's mouth almost verbatim. Yeah, he would say like, you know, I've got a good sense of humor, I'm humble, I'm a hard worker. I, I... Lauren would actually have more positive things to say about <laughs> himself than Joran would. And I don't, that's not one of those imposter syndrome deals. It's, it's that Lauren has more going on. I think that, that at, least, at least Lauren has a weird sort of charisma that drew us to he, him. He does. It's, <laughs> you know, Joran, in a lot of ways, is a more advanced Lauren. He's a Lauren that got college education. Yeah, and in, and in some other ways, Lauren is more advanced because he has this... He does have charisma, you can't deny that. We, we wouldn't listen to the Lauren calls if, if there wasn't something funny about him crying and screaming and things that he says. Yeah. And that's charisma. So, Jorn, I don't know if it would be as entertaining. He just sighs a whole lot. Well, it, we have derived a lot of entertainment out fair of him, enough. to be true. I'll, I mean, I'll actually have fair. to scrub that whole part. Let's 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 start that over, but talk about how how much great shit we've got on Jorin in yeah. the calls. Are you working on anyone right now in TCAP? Oh, here, sorry, I got here. Let me clean up my glasses. He's putting the, the, the fucking font screws is just so him. weirdly small on this screen. Can you enlarge your screen? I can. Like I just hate person? the way it looks too. Or keeping it offline for the moment. I agree that humor is the killer, but I don't sing unless it's an '80s sitcom theme or a jingle. Which is we're actually gonna pay Wes to do our new jingle once we break 1,000 subscribers. Because I, I think that's technically the point at which you're famous. Got a few hotties in the TCAP verse. The way that he writes it also kind of looks like the word perverse, I which agree. which would also work for the TCAP verse, but when he uses it, it just seems like it's his perverted universe. Trying to get a couple of locals, you? I I feel sorry for anybody who lives within like a hundred miles of where he lives because the East Coast I know is pretty cramped over there you know a lot of small states that you can drive through in an hour or less what what do you want to bet he shows up where women work and hits on them oh he hits on like the the chick who's working behind the counter at the gas station chronically yeah and she has to put up with that shit every time he comes in it's so fucking annoying blank is hot as hell blank's really pretty my gut tells me blank and blank ah oh, too. I, I didn't do my line. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, keep going, please. I'm keeping single on purpose. I have too many things I'm working on for distractions. 
Who are the hotties in the TCAP verse, though? I may change my mind. Ha <laughs> ha. Have you seen pictures of people? I've only seen blank and blank. So now, uh, I think it's fair to say that Wes is fishing to see what Jorn has already. Yeah. Blank is hot as hell. Blank's really pretty. My gut tells me blank and blank are too. LOL. And blank. Ahaha! Ha! -ha! There's a new lawnographer named Blank. She lives in his If I can schmooze a pick out of her, I'll let you know if she is hot. She's a patron of Salmon. Hmm, is this guy going through other people's list of Patreons? Oh, 100%. He's comparing notes. That's so creepy. It is very creepy. He's, he's creeping on everybody's Patreon page and looking to see who is sponsoring or not sponsoring but being a patron of them uh do you th do you think that he's reaching out to them himself saying hey i see that you're a patron of this person maybe you would also be a fan of my material as well i don't have to you know uh surmise that i think that somebody could enlighten us you know in the comments on this uh please do yeah i know i know that if anybody knows this they they will they will they will shout it out if I can schmooze a pick out of her, I'll let you know if she's hot. No comment. Uh, continuing. What is he trying to... He's trying to pimp a girl out to Wes because well, she's... Well, no, because he's going to take the girl. <laughs> well, He's yes. going to take the girl for himself. He's just going to let Wes know if she's hot or not. Oh, yeah. Did you message that girl back from Twitter? She was just in my live stream. <laughs> Oh, you gotta, you gotta keep putting that mac and cheese in there. You gotta, you gotta keep, gotta keep, uh... Stirring that cheese. You gotta keep plugging the mac and cheese. Plugging the mac and cheese. Not sure if she's hot. I know she's 30, and she's, she's in, and she, <laughs> I know she's 30, and she sent me a friend request on Discord. I messaged the Twitter chick. No response. I wonder if the chick is... The to be real, because she's just a patron of Salmon. I just asked how they found me on Twitter, because you are smaller... I don't do it anymore because of... Sorry, I cannot read. Sorry, I cannot read. I don't do it anymore because I have a growth... <laughs> that sounds... <laughs> okay, never mind. We'll, we'll continue this tomorrow. Yeah, I don't think we're in the right mindset <laughs> this... anymore. No, it sounded like a, uh, a, that Wes had a tumor there. That's yeah. not what was going on. <laughs> well. Alright, we'll come back tomorrow and do it. Okay. I, I think that there's a chance they didn't do an immediate response because they wanted to leave Jorn a little hungry and they couldn't have mac and cheese sounding too eager to be in contact too with them. Too Thursday. Him. Yeah, that might have, like, you know, set up a little alarm bell, but we know that doesn't really matter with Jorn because you could give him as many red flags as possible. As we've seen. And he would not realize that there's a penalty. Because you are smaller and new, it would be... A totally legit question. I don't do it anymore because I have growth. I legit wanted to know if people were finding me from my videos or word of mouth. Alright. Jorn says, Smooth as peanut butter. I'll do that with her. Even get a number from this girl's and give them a call. Hold on, hold on. Let me... Did I read that right? Uh, oh ever get a number from this girls and give them a call so it doesn't have a question mark but that is a question i believe i'm getting chicks in the 90s yeah uh i i think of it more of like 1950s you it, get their yeah. phone number and maybe she'll give you her tube of lipstick or something did they do that i've there, never heard there, of there that was before. something uh about um you know giving giving a gentleman suitor uh your your lipstick too interesting at like okay. a dance situation or something i've never heard of that before i could i see i see the i understand like it's touched her lips so there's that intimacy there yeah there's something kind of romantic about it it was a lot more classy back then the, then but, you color <laughs> your balls red with them <laughs> <laughs> you, you cut you color your balls and your penis red with them and you flop them around in the mirror <laughs> all right you want to continue with the 
Chat log. Sure. No, that's old school. Snapchat or Facebook Messenger. Create a drawn comedy Facebook for your fans. You can put all of your photos there after they launch and meet the requirement for the YouTube algorithm. Mmm, I like that. That's great farming technique right there. It is. Yeah, actually. get your cow to milk itself for you. <laughs> I don't want to. It seems superfluous. With what? With Twitter? And I feel like most people prefer... I don't know if this voice is going to get on everybody's nerves. We're going to have this entire thing recorded by the time it's even getting edited. And I feel like most people prefer to rule it. <laughs> and, I, and I feel like most people prefer to use real names on Facebook. No, they don't, Joran. You are a boomer. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about, and you just want people's personal information because you're a weirdo. But I'd like to make YouTube happy. Well, you have. You've, you've, you've accomplished the, the last part in spades. Uh, he doesn't want to make YouTube happy. He just wants to comply with YouTube so that YouTube can make him happy. Well, he's <laughs> if his channel gets big enough, Beyonce's yeah. going to find it. <gasps> well, it's not about Facebook, but if you want to be able to use Facebook Messenger, in parentheses, Cam. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I wonder if that was ever in the planning stages. Maybe. Mm, I don't know. Okay. All right. Girls will show you live strip shows to prove who they are on Twitter. <laughs> That's how life works, Joran. <laughs> That's what dating is like now. See, what Wes was giving you here was life hacks, dude. This is a total life hack. And, and what did you do to thank him? You accused him of... Allowing him to believe that a troll was was a woman <laughs> interested in him. It was all your fault, Wes. Oh my God. God. And now you have to help him write his apology. Okay. Uh, <laughs> um, let me finish this. You can get them to write your name on a body part of your choice. I get crazy stuff on there. I created a Wes Most account. Or sorry. I created a Westmost Facebook, and it gets a lot of use. <laughs> so, apparently, Wes is the one who implanted the idea of the body part signing, not Joran. So it looks like Joran wasn't creative enough, and, and perhaps we we attributed some things wrongly to Joran even though Wes is obviously trolling here and and knows that they're going to have the ability and knows that they're going to have the ability to follow this up with actual uh, body signage tagging mm -hmm. yeah but here's the important part Jarn doesn't have to take any of this fucking advice none of he, it nor <laughs> should he his, have this is his choice nor would any sane person look at his oh, oh my god the little the little s triple surprised faces he's like oh fucking wow girls are gonna s do strip shows just to prove their identity to me and that's that's probably what they were waiting for they were waiting for Wes to give give Jorn a little hype before those pictures were dropped to him pure speculation you gotta fluff them up and get them all all ready for it I have no words only emojis that's the next step okay then the he follows up just a, about 20 minutes later with and your boy Joran just got his first nude cool guy emoji oh man that first nude was like the first nail in Joran's coffin. Mm-hmm. It was. I never kid. This mac and cheese bitch is horny. What a fucking prick. This girl just was nice enough to send you a naked picture and it's like you're calling her a bitch. It's just very insulting. The whole thing is just very, very insulting and demeaning. At least say, 
I never kid, this mac and cheese chick is horny. Like, even the horny part is pushing it, but you can, you could add that if you wanted to. But the, the bitch, it's like he has to demean her in front of Wes to show that this really ain't no thing. Because I know you're getting nudes all the time, and you can't be caring about this bitch, uh, caring about these bitches, Wes. Um, I don't love them hoes, I'm out of the dope. <laughs> so okay, go ahead. That's all I had there. Do you wanna? Yeah, um, yeah. I like paying attention to the timestamps here. So Wes finally responds about nine minutes later after Joran uh, sent the previous 9:54 p.m. Proof or it didn't happen. You okay, know... so Wes did ask for the nude too, which is something that we didn't fully know the first time through, and that's fine because as you said. Joran doesn't have to do any of this shit that Wes and he is didn't asking. he actually say send him a picture. No, he said proof or it didn't happen. It's an so expression that's, that's used a lot. Yeah, but I think it's, I think it, well, I, yes, you know what that, it implies. Well, well, yes, we know what it implies and we know what they're kind of after and trying to see how Joran will interpret or act on this. Um, but proof or it didn't happen doesn't mean you have to drop the entire picture either. You could have cropped the picture so that you're not revealing any of her other bits at the very least. Blurred the face too, maybe even did some Photoshop outline around her so you don't see anything in her house in the background, you know? Yeah. But even, even short of that, like, why do you have to prove it? Yeah, why do you have to prove it so badly? It's... Jordan never learned about kissing and not telling. He's always been the kiss and tell. Oh god, that's pro you, you, you're fucking 100% spot on and that's likely why he has not been able to get into our maintainer relationship. Yeah, it, it's always been this weird male competition he has. Well, continue reading Wes's line here because the, I, I love what Wes is saying because it's just getting Joran pumped and, and in all the wrong ways. Proof or it didn't happen. You know how this works, man. <laughs> Is it main? Is it main? Main. Shit, you know how this works, man. <laughs> you want me to do that again? Oh, no, we can just, we'll, we'll edit mine in the middle of yours and not <laughs> explain it. Go ahead. Okay. How does she look? What would you write her? Like, he's not necessarily saying supply me a picture, maybe just tell me about her. Okay, so then, uh, as per request, let, let's see what the timestamp is on this. So, a minute later, Joran drops the pic. Just instantaneously. Yeah, he was he's waiting. Like, boom. He was waiting for this. He probably had his finger on the left mouse button. Yeah. You rate her for me. Checkmate, Wes. Ooh. Burn. Oh, damn. I like that body. Some nice curves on her. What do you think? Did she tell you where she lives? Make sure she don't live in Sweden or some shit. Okay, so the latter half is solid advice. The earlier statement... Did she tell you where she lives? To Joran, he probably interpreted that as, did he, did she tell you her home address, where, where she sleeps in her house? What's her proximity and availability to fuck? Yeah. Ah ha He types it out like he does it. That's how you know it's completely... You're right. It's completely manufactured. Absolutely. Most people do the ha ha ha, not ah oh, ha ha. So he, he knows, yeah, that he's showing us that he knows that those are not real. That's, that's not a real laugh that he's doing. He, he's too self-aware of it. And I don't think that someone would bother typing phonetically the way in which they laugh, even if they were aware of it. But anyway... Aha! I'll ask. I requested a pic of her with my name on her. And now she wants a dick pic. Oh, you know what? Maybe he's now going for that proof. The Joran tag. You already making requests? Damn, Joran. Haha. 
That's so fast. You never follow up a nude with a demand. That's a... <laughs> That's looking a gift boob in the mouth. I saw. Amen, Wes. Oh my god. <laughs> Amen. Amen, Wes. Oh my god. Oh lord, have mercy. Yeah. A gift breed in the mouth. <laughs> a gift breed in the mouth. Dick pic seems fair if you are asking for something. Just make sure it's not identifiable parentheses. No face, oh, God. awards in the background, etc. Which is one piece of advice. The good advice Jorn doesn't bother following, it seems. It seems that Jorn is only taking the little bits and pieces. He's only taking the advice that's trolling. Yeah. He's not taking the solid advice that's actually going to protect him because... He does all of those things. Not awards, but he shows his house identifiable features in his house, such as his uh, computer chair. His carpeting. We could probably see those coupons in the background of one of his... <laughs> I wonder if we could. Actually, no, he goes through them too fast. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, right. Despite this advice here, he still puts his face in the chat right after he posts a bunch of dick pics. It wasn't one, there was multiple dick pics. There was Captain Morgan poses, there was there was ropes of jism. Yeah, leaking there, there pre cum. Was, there was fucking loads on 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 a stack of coupons for a tires. A gossamer handful of <laughs> <laughs> of uh, of uh, some some uh, spent Joran seminal fluids. Beautifully said. Okay, all right. Looks like it's my my yes. car right here. <laughs> you are the one who put the idea of women with my name on their bodies into my head. Okay, my paranoia wants to make sure this isn't some troll scheme with a fake girl pic. Mm. All right, so we are getting confirmation here that that Wes initiated the the tagging of women. Mm-hmm. So it, we've covered that. We yeah, we've covered that. Um, so Jorn is paranoid. He he's he's second guessing shit, and we can see that in the original chat log as well. The the original mac and cheese chat log as well. Where, where he's sort of backing up a little bit, but then as the night progresses, he, he gets, he's, he's unable to control his horny level. And Yeah, but you can't ask for that right off. You can't go in doubting her or she will run. Have you ever fished, homie? You let the fish take the bait <laughs> before you yank the hook. I see what you did there, Wes. Talk to her. If she's trolling you, she will make it clear. Also, something that is very clear mm. she looks legit though it's not like she's a model or something she's clearly a real chick taking a candid pic all for you jorn all for you jorn it's all for you jorn i know i know this troll situation has me off my game something fierce she lives in new york not that far cool she told you that already damn Fast mover. Jordan is a fast mover. Quote, Anytime you want to fill my hot pocket, let me know. Fast mover was her exact words. Wow. And you didn't think there was anything strange about that at all, did you, Jordan? <laughs> what an asshole. The, there's, there was God, nothing that, that sent your spidey <laughs> senses tingling there. Uh, LOL. She is clearly a tea cappus, so that's a good sign. Laugh emoji. That's not why you're laughing, Wes. <laughs> Fast mover was a term Chris would throw around. Dude, a hot chick who loves tea cap is the dream. Well, you'll be the first to know what happens. You're going to be the best man at their funeral. At their funeral. <laughs> I'll leave that in. That was a that was a Freudian <laughs> slip there, uh, and it actually works in this instance. But no, you'll be the best man at mac and cheese and Jorn's wedding. 
<laughs> You've already got the invite. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, haven't asked her age yet. Not that I really care. Um. Hmm. Okay, we we could do two things here. <laughs> Thing one is Jorn. If we're giving Jorn the benefit of the doubt, which I doubt many people are. Perhaps he's saying that he doesn't care if she's of legal age up to, you know, his age. Yeah. If we take away the benefit of the doubt, that is a that is a really dark statement that Holy Jordan is shit. making. And I'm not sure oh. why he would say that to Wes, of all people. And, and he didn't even need to add it to the end of that sentence. He didn't even put a period behind it, despite putting a period behind the, uh, the previous. previous sentence. Yeah. So Well, he, he's separating his sentences. That's all the periods are there for, to separate the sentences, and then once not they to end, end it. It just ends. Yeah, it Nothing just, else. Yeah, exactly. Um, and also, I think he was perhaps a little leery that somebody would try to catfish him as an underage girl, and that's probably what he was looking for as well. Because that would make sense to. Then why wouldn't he have asked as soon as he got a nude photograph? How you know? Oh, oh you're this right. is lovely. Thank you. But I, I do need to ask, how old are you? Never you know, mind. If you're sending me this sort of content, you know. I don't think he was suspicious outright. I just think that it was. Uh... Well, and I do agree with Wes. The the woman looked of legal age in the photograph. You know, it, it's it's not a picture that would make me do a double take. Like, oh, oh shit, that that looks like it's something that, that shouldn't exist. But but it's just it's just really weird that he would say that. All right, so you go ahead, Miss. She looks legal. What are your age ranges? You go after. How far are you from New York? Well, you see, Wes, it really depends on if I'm jerking off or not. Because if I'm jerking off and they're in a genie costume, I should be 30 and up. Should be? That's really uncertain language there, too. Wow. But if she's old enough to drink, I'd hit it. So he, he's stating that he has a standard there. He at least wants them to be 21 years of age or older. Um... You know, whatever, there's relationships with people with wide age gaps, if it's consensual, you know, whatever. But we go on to, she didn't say where in the state, not in the city, maybe four hours. This again is reminiscent of the chat log with Mac and Cheese where it sounds like predator talk, where they're like, oh, how far away are you? Oh, that's only X amount of hours away. And maybe it's just how people would talk if they're thinking about meeting up. Yeah, it's it's rationalizing, you know, the possibility that this could be a real thing. Yeah, that, yeah he's really going to get his D wet. Mm-hmm. Very cool. That's doable. I get pissed when they are in another country. Fuck yeah. I keep meeting I keep meeting dream girls who think that I'm all that and they are on another damn continent. They are in another reality, Jordan. You, you know what they are? They are people from third world countries using sock accounts to try and fish you. Yeah. Because that, those are the only women who mm -hmm. are telling you that this girl she told me that we're soulmates and she's beautiful. But she just needs, you know, $2,000 to be able to get out of her country and come here. If only I had that $2,000. But I can't afford towels. Mm-hmm. All right. I, how much do you want to bet it's actually, like, cam girls that he's been paying little tips to? You know, I don't know because he did say to Wes in one of the... He did say that he had thrown out a large amount of pornography. Oh, yeah. And we, we know he consumes a large amount of it. And somebody made a big um, a big revelation over his exotification of ethnicities of women. Um, might be due to the fact that he sees that categorization in pornography as well. So that's how it, it carries on into his... 
interpersonal relationships. Yeah. yeah, he just doesn't have very good boundaries even within himself to filter yeah. that shit the, out. The the porno is bleeding over into like his the the manner in which he socializes and, and conceptualizes people around him. Oh, you're a BBW uh BBC. Yeah, he's fucking talking to Wes like he's Mandingo. It's it's ridiculous. So, so about uh, f- five minutes later, yeah, Joran interprets Wes's silence as <laughs> perhaps a, a negative to to what Joran is saying here. Yeah, and Joran responds with the laughing smiley. Exactly, Fair, I'd prefer not to. Um, I feel like a little put, a bit got is is not on here. Well, so there's there, a, there's a re- yeah yeah. Uh, uh, the viewers have been warned in advance that this isn't quite as comprehensive as the the mac and cheese during comedy chat log. Like, there are parts that are cut out of this for specific reasons, and you know, we're just gonna take. We're not gonna look a gift of breed in the mouth here. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now now it's 2.48 p.m. Yep, waiting for her response. Wow, Wes, and then, and then you know, fucking even longer with no response from Wes. Wow, Wes with the pussy on demand. I had an opportunity to go to Vegas and bang this Lebanese girl. But my ass was broke as usual. Man, I love how his stories change from, like, prefer not to, to being so broke he can't fly domestically. I would prefer not to spend my every last cent going and having sex. I have to survive. I still have to feed myself. God damn. Opportunity to bang this. He is so vapid and shallow. He does not want to have personal connections to anybody, it seems. He wants, he's got a checklist of nationalities and and he wants to go through and have sex with a female member of each of these nationalities. And this would be the Lebanese girl that he would check off the list. Oh yeah, she's the most Middle Eastern chick that he's probably had access to or so he thinks um because i bet like the more the more fixated in the middle east and the more arabic they are or anything like that you know the more ideal they become for him and plus she was a belly dancer oh we find that out later oh yeah you just spoiled oh no i spoiled it when was that did she live in vegas Sucks you couldn't make it happen. In Vegas, maybe eight to ten years ago, she was a belly dancer. So many opportunities in my life lost because of brokenness. Ha ha! Jorn, if you weren't such a fuck who wasted your time and your your money on worthless endeavors, bird dogging chicks, maybe make some better choices for yourself, you would actually have a savings at this point. There was something that I wanted to add to that because the next one that we go to is 18 unnamed and that's when he shows off to Wes the the belly tag photo that Joran received. But so many opportunities in my life lost because of brokenness. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. No, I don't think I have anything to add to that. I think he's been broke his entire life. Yeah, I don't... I guess what I was going to say is I don't know exactly what kind of decisions Joran has made in his life. Uh, yeah, we're just not really sure what kind of choices he's made, but it makes me wonder what what his life experience has been up until this point to make him 48 years old and not have any not have any financial cushion right now and I know you know it's with COVID right now or well we can't say that 
Uh, but he was talking about past the, tense. It was like eight to ten years ago, so he would be about forty at the time that he was unable to just take a trip to Vegas and and bone a chick. Like he was, he didn't have enough money to go out and. It sounds ridiculous, though. I mean, like there are plenty of other women that you could date that are within driving distance of you that are an affordable relationship but she probably met a lot of his fantasy requirements and so therefore she was a lot more desirable well i'm surprised that she was even receptive but perhaps she didn't and this is (laughs) speculation perhaps she knew that he couldn't afford to make it out there but the other thing that i wanted to add to this was i'm pretty sure with las vegas don't they make it relatively cheap to fly there and yeah. stay there because they expect people and they want people to use more money for the gambling. I think that you can get some pretty good deals on airfare, um, you know, especially with like Southwest, the want to get away airfare is pretty fucking cheap. Um. And I hear Expedia is great. The next part of this video is sponsored by Expedia.com. If you need to go meet a Lebanese chick in Vegas, Expedia's got your back. Can you actually do that? I mean, probably <laughs> not, but... <laughs> I don't think they want to be associated with this. Too late. Whoops. Expedia, you're in on this now. You're complicit. I don't care what my family or friends say. Kathy Hill, from Bangladesh who emailed me a marriage proposal because she had seen me on an unspecified social media account, I get around, okay, was not a scammer. And frankly how dare you or anyone try to minimize the pain I felt in not being able to connect with one of my many, many soulmates. If only I had the money to send her via Western Union, I never would have been in this mess to begin with. We would be living happily together, genie and barbarian master. But no. My loved ones all tell me I'm being catfished and they won't loan me the money even though they know I'm good for it. Now I'm the robotic laughing stock of the TCAP community. I can't get an erection without I dream of Genie playing with an earshot. So fine. Fine. I will make your favorite southern accent and a list actor Matthew McConaughey and some random chick suffer through my public humiliation with me. I am not going down alone. Ha 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 